Have you ever wondered about our universe and what separates us from space? The scale of the universe is incredible. When we look up in the night sky, we can see stars, but those stars are in our immediate neighborhood. They're the stars that are the closest stars to the sun within our own Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy that both the sun and the solar system are a part. Along with a bunch of stars clustered together that create a brightly lit center. At first glance from Earth, it looks like a wide path of light. The ancients once described as a river of milk. It has a combination of two major and minor arms two smaller spurs, as well as a collection of a hundred billion stars. Those are the same stars that you can see with the naked eye when you look up at the night sky. But imagine how much more of the universe lies behind the lens of a telescope. With Hubble, we've been able to see beyond the Milky Way galaxy. We can see nearby galaxies like the Andromeda galaxy that are interacting with the Milky Way galaxy. We can look beyond that and see galaxies that are colliding with one another. And we can see to the far reaches of the universe. So even though it may seem like we're millions of miles away from the outer galaxy, we're only really separated by a thin layer of atmosphere. Flying through space at the speed of light is an image familiar to us from science fiction. It is also the inspiration for many astronomers today. Through astronomy, we try and understand what our place in the universe is. My job is to expand humankind's knowledge about the universe. My passion for astronomy comes from my wondering about how the universe works. So when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of science fiction and read a lot of science fiction. I really loved Star Trek. In Star Trek, they would fly around to another system and there'd always be, you know, teeming with aliens. But if you look around our own solar system, it's sort of one intense landscape after the next. Places that look completely uninhabitable, like Mercury, which is 1,000 degrees, or Venus, which rains acid, or Mars, which has global dust storms, or Jupiter, which doesn't even have a surface. And so I figured there has to be some middle ground in between these two. How does the actual universe work? The connection between sci-fi fantasy and the world of astronomy is closer than we think. I really was driven to understand how much of what we see on television and what people imagine is real. It doesn't have to be related to finding life on another world. It could be related to understanding how our sun works or understanding how planets form, when the first galaxies turned on in the universe. I mean, these are just questions that we would like to know to expand our knowledge of the universe. Discovering the real science behind the adventures of science fiction is a part of the amazing journey of becoming an astronomer.
Let's play a game. What's the size of a school bus that travels five miles per second and takes some of the coolest pictures in the universe? The answer is right above you. Well, about 340 miles above you. And it's called Hubble. The Hubble Space Telescope is the most important tool that we have for understanding our universe and what our place within it is. From space, Hubble can see planets, stars, and galaxies much clearer than telescopes here on the ground. Some as far as 13.4 billion light years away. Its images have completely changed the way we think about viewing stars. Prior to the launch of Hubble, when we thought of astronomy and telescopes, we really thought essentially of telescopes on the ground people looking through eyepieces and things like that. No one knows exactly who invented the first telescope, but in 1610, Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei was the first to point his own homemade telescope up toward the stars. Then, more than 300 years later, astronomer Edwin Hubble used a large telescope to discover entire galaxies. The telescope itself is named the Hubble Space Telescope after Edwin Hubble, and one of these iconic images of, is of Edwin Hubble himself looking through one of these telescopes that you could almost mistake for the Hubble if it were in space. In 1610, instead of an eyepiece, Hubble uses digital cameras This camera can record visible light, ultraviolet light, and even infrared light. And scientists look forward to using Hubble to solve the mysteries of outer space. Today, demand for the Hubble Space Telescope is at a record high. Anybody in the world can write a proposal to use Hubble, and we're receiving more than a thousand proposals every year for scientists wanting to tackle tough questions about the universe. Hubble is always doing the best science that's out there. What inspires you? Is it hearing your favorite song? Reading a new book? Seeing a beautiful work of art? What about pictures of the universe? The Hubble Space Telescope is a giant telescope that takes some of the most beautiful pictures from space of planets, stars, and galaxies. People all over the world have been inspired by the beautiful images that Hubble has taken. It has answered some of our biggest curiosities about the universe and taken things that were in the realm of science fiction and brought them into reality. It's observed black holes and supernova and other worlds orbiting other stars. It's truly the people's telescope. Hubble unravels the mysteries of outer space and ignites our curiosities. The Hubble Space Telescope is woven into the fabric of our culture, from music to art to fashion to poetry. So its role, in part, was to take the most beautiful imagery that had ever been seen and share it via the internet to the world. And for over 25 years, Hubble has done just that. Soon, it will be sharing the skies with its new successor, the 
James Webb Space Telescope, which will work alongside Hubble to peer even deeper into our universe and will be 100 times more powerful, continuing to inspire us all to expand our creativity beyond what we can see right in front of us. Have you ever wanted to take a closer look at the stars? See some of the coolest parts of our universe? Then you'll need a telescope. A big one. The Hubble Space Telescope has a mirror that's eight feet across. So this is much bigger than any telescope that you've ever used from your backyard. Hubble is about 44 feet long and weighs more than 25,000 pounds. But what's most impressive about it is that we put it into space. So in order to do that, it's, it's, it has to use very small amounts of power. NASA fuels Hubble with the largest power source we know, the sun. Two large solar panels capture sunlight to use as solar energy. The Hubble Space Telescope is not only big in size and low on energy, it's also fast. It travels around the Earth in its orbit at something like 20,000 kilometers per hour, so about 10,000 miles per hour, and it orbits the Earth every hour and a half. At this rate, the Hubble can travel from Los Angeles to Boston in about 10 minutes. One of the reasons that the Hubble Space Telescope is so powerful today is that we've enabled new ways to use the telescope that didn't exist before. Hubble is the first telescope designed to be visited in space by astronauts who perform repairs, replace parts, and update its technology with new instruments. We installed a brand new set of cameras and spectrographs and instruments in Hubble during its last servicing mission, and they're all performing remarkably well. Although the Hubble Space Telescope launched over 25 years ago, it continues to be one of the most important tools we have to learn about the universe. Hubble has made countless discoveries through its observations. And answering new puzzles that have emerged requires more powerful telescopes. And so one of Hubble's greatest legacy is not just to answer questions about the universe, but also to open up new mysteries that we can solve with future telescopes.